It's Saturday morning, May 27th, around 6.30 a.m. We're hitting the road super early so that we miss the traffic because everybody going DTS for MD Dub. Let the weekend begin. House tour. So, this is a nice place. For how we scrapped it together and the money we're paying, dude, it's not bad at all. The porch is dope. Does it? Oh, it wraps around here now. Yeah, yeah. Freak yeah. I'm uh. They started without us. It's like 8 a.m. It's a cute bathroom. This shit looks like it's from the 1700s. Dude, we got a backyard. Yo, the backyard's fire. You don't mess around. Throw down back here. What's up, baby? Let's take the rest of the tour up. It's probably a lot creepier at night. It is. It's creepy. Wow. That's like the ring. Can we take this down until we leave? I was gonna, but then I kind of. Yo, what is these? Poltergeist shit. Uh, at least if there's a haunted house, we'll all get up together. Yeah. This isn't creepy, yo. <laughs> uh, so if we see some weird shit, like we all like are together, let's just all pile in a room so if we're gonna die, we're all like. <laughs> something tells me Al is sleeping here or something, night. <laughs> I'm uh, seven. Shit show though, they'll group me, like. I'm oh my really god. Fucking... Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, we should start looking for Labor Day weekend now, <laughs> dude. <laughs> 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 Whose like man's is this? The weekend's over. I didn't get any footage. I always want to do footage on these trips. But I'm also at the same time like trying to enjoy the trip so I don't want to have my camera out the whole time. It's probably better off that I don't film everything that goes on in these trips. For the sake of everyone else that's in the house for all that good stuff. Everyone and their mother goes down sure for like these holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, so like they're fun to be down but they're kind of just out of control. Like you, you you wait online, like we waited online for a bar yesterday for like an hour and 20 minutes. It was fun once you were in there but like can't move most of the time, shit just gets crazy. Um, it's Monday morning so I'm gonna head back and then I'm probably just gonna sleep off the rest of the day. That's it, that's all I got for you, I'm tired. That's good. It's Tuesday, uh, May 30th, last day of May, before we kick off June. Man, these months are flying by. How many days are in May, actually? Oh, never mind, it's 31. L. Summer doesn't even start till June 21st, we ain't even started summer yet. So it's Tuesday, May 30th, it's around noon. Do we literally, like, when we were away for Memorial Day weekend, I don't know why this started, but we just couldn't. Couldn't stop fucking dabbing all weekend. It was so much fun. I, I can't stop now. And I was in my car. I was driving home yesterday from the shore by myself. I'll be like listening to music, like dancing in my car on the highway. And I'll just start like dabbing. And people are looking at me like, what the f is this, this kid have like Tourette's or something? I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm literally, I'm walking out of my house like by myself. I'll be like going to get a water bottle. And I'm just like, I think I have a problem. I think I need to be on like true life. I can't stop dabbing. And I know it's like two years late, but I feel like that's kind of the funniest part about it. Like I was so dumb when it started, but now it's really fun. It's so irrelevant to everything. Now it's back to kind of grind time. I shot a video that I'm gonna put up on my channel for fantasy football and I'm doing a team outlook. Every single team, you know, and their outlooks for every player on the team basically. And so I'm gonna do 32 of them, 32 teams. And I just wanted to talk about, you know, overall, like everything I'm doing, marketing, YouTube, all this different stuff that I'm doing, Kind of come to realize that the reason I'm doing it is, you know, I, li I like Facebook marketing and I love like the whole starting the business thing, but that's not my, that's not my end goal. Like my end goal is not to create like a marketing agency that's, you know, like a million dollar revenue or anything like that. I think everything I'm doing is sort of um, trying to build up a platform for myself. And then once you do that, you know, once you have followers, once you 
you can build a platform for yourself that you can use to kind of do whatever you want. That's really, that's really my goal right now. And I want to build a platform so that I can kind of help people, whether that be through fantasy football, whether it just be kids that are our age, my age, and are just going through shit, or whether it be, you know, health, fitness, like anything I can kind of give off to you, any knowledge that I have, anything that, you know, that I'm going through, I kind of want to share with you guys. And, uh, and that's really my like main goal out of all this stuff. And I know it's kind of confusing because I always have a million things that's going on. And a lot of it is just throwing my eggs in a bunch of different baskets. And that's the way I'm trying to build my platform. And that's the way I'm trying to build my audience, I guess. And what I found is the reason I'm doing so much work and I'm so heavy in on the fantasy football thing, even though there's no real return on it, is because that that's how I'm seeing my follower my follower base grow really quickly. Like right now I'm getting anywhere from like 20 to 25 new subscribers a day. So like when I first shared my YouTube channel, like really shared it on Facebook, put it out there, I think I had like 500 subscribers and I'm almost up to 900 now. I, I've almost doubled since then. And right now I'm seeing crazy growth because of fantasy football is getting closer and closer. I'm seeing the numbers shoot up. Just over the last two weeks, 185 new subscribers. Like that's crazy growth, but it's not something I haven't said on this channel. I always said that this stuff was kind of just a filler in between. And I want I want everyone to kind of follow my journey of how I'm growing everything. But the fantasy football is where I see my most uh, growth through the platform. And to be completely, completely honest with you, like all these things I'm doing are my passions and I really like them, but it's just to help me kind of build the lifestyle that I want. If that makes sense, like for instance, I said this to my best friend this weekend, we were talking about it and uh, say like, for so I'm not saying it's gonna happen or anything, I'm not like putting myself on a pedestal, but if at the end of the summer I had a big following, right, and like ESPN came to me and we're like, Nick, we've been following and we like what you're doing on the fantasy football side of things, we wanna offer you a position on our like fantasy football analyst team, like under Matt Barry, under those big ass names, right, and here's a pretty good salary. Like, what do you say? I would turn that shit down in a second because that's not what I believe in. That's not like what I value, you know? Like I did this whole thing so I can work on my own time and build things the way I want to build them. And I think that's another reason why I've been taking the marketing side of things slowly. That's more so for me. I do like it, I do really enjoy it and I wanna help small businesses and I see a big opportunity here. But that opportunity is for, is like financial reasons, you know? Like helping those businesses is great and uh, I need to have some kind of income and that's a way that I see myself being able to, to, to have a nice income on the side of me building my platform and me building my audience, really. So it's like a very big picture thing and to you guys, it's very slow growth and it looks like, um, you know, not much going on, but I, I'm, just, I'm just consistently, constantly putting in the work on these small little things that are adding up over time and I'm seeing them come to fruition right now by the way that the channel is really building off and when I start putting out these fantasy videos, three times a week or something like that. Like I, my channel is probably gonna really explode and I appreciate the shit out of anyone who watches these videos, who comments, who engages, you know, and not even just on that level, just if you reach out to me via email, I have people reach out to me in email and say like, you know, you've changed the way I thought about things. Can you help me out with this, that, and the other thing? Random things that are going on in their life if, they, if they're they looking to lose weight because they want more confidence. Like I've had people reach out to me for that and like that means the fucking world to me. You have no idea. If I could change like one person's life because of the stuff that I'm doing, it really, 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 really means a lot. So I know a lot of the vlogs I put out are more, more business focused and more business oriented. But as I grow, I wanna, I wanna share more of. I don't wanna say like the emotional side of things, but just like things that are really, really going on in my life outside of just business and outside of just these nutrition and, and fantasy football. And I, I want to be able to relate to a lot of people and, and people who are going through tough times and people who are, uh, you know, dealing with shit. So. Because everyone needs people that they can kind of like open up to and relate to, you know, and you might not have like an experience where you can relate to someone that's really close to you in your inner circle. I mean, they could be there for you to listen, but maybe they, they don't have the same experiences as you. And that's why I'd like to put myself out there for people who have. And, um, you know, like right now I'm going through some kind of personal shit that, that's hard for me to relate. And it's like, it's easy for me to, I don't know why, but I've just found a, a good outlet in YouTube and this camera for me to... Um, express myself and just like talk about things that I'm going through and uh, I'm not really really ready yet to get that deep into stuff I'm not really there yet with this stuff um, but that's kind of what I see long term so I'm using this as not only an outlet but a monetization driver um, and a place to, to really build a platform and be able to help other people so that's just kind of something that's going on in my mind. I wanted to kind of touch on that because I know a lot of this, I'm like all over the place with this YouTube thing. And that's, 
that's really what everything comes down to in my eyes and in my head. And it's like I said, I know it's not it's not going to happen overnight. Um, it's just going to be constant work, constant drive, constant doing this, doing that, getting the content out, and and you know, and just interacting with people and, and building a real, real connection with with people who uh, connect and, and mess with what I'm what I've been doing. So if you just stay for this talk, uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate you. So one love. We out. I'm your host, Michael Stelzner, and this is the podcast for marketers and business owners who want to know what works. Okay, so as you saw, I was just filming a video for the tube. You just gotta be updating that shit consistently if you wanna grow. Right now, what am I doing? Right now, I'm just finalizing some reports to send to clients because you gotta, obviously communicating with them is key, so I send over weekly reports at the every Monday to show how the past week performance was compared to the prior week, and that way you have a history of going forward, seeing where you need to improve or where things are dipping down in performance so that you can kind of work off that. And since it's June 1st, I always send like the previous month as a whole, just a performance like that. So sending over some reporting. I think I'm gonna film another video after this. Constantly getting out content on content on content. Thursday night, first game of uh, the NBA Finals. Let's go, Cavs in two. I hope LeBron wins this, to be honest with you. I've, I'm a huge OKC fan, and KD is the biggest coward in the league for going to Golden State after they beat him last year. It's gonna wrap up week 11. And as always, thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. What do we got planned for this weekend? I'm gonna shave my mustache, huh? Gotta trim a little bit. Finger's still hanging in there. I don't know how it's still on, to be honest with you. Tomorrow, my high school team is playing in the state championship, or the state sectional championship for baseball. That's my squad right there. I played baseball growing up, basically, my whole life. And the uh, same coaches and stuff are there for the most part. So I'm gonna go to the high school, watch them play. They're playing against our rivals, which is crazy for the state finals. Saturday, we got, if you're watching this when it's released, I'm probably at a house party slash barbecue. So it should be a fun weekend. Sure. Also, I think for the food challenges I was talking about. I think when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do the 10,000 calorie challenge. One, I need to have, probably Steve needs to be free, cause I'm gonna need like a cameraman with me when I'm traveling around, cause I don't wanna do that by myself. Two, I need to have like a full day off after that. Like if it's on like a Friday, I'm not gonna do a Friday if I'm going out on like Saturday, cause I'm just gonna feel like shit the entire next day. So I need like a good rest period. The way the subscribers have been going up, I would say I'll probably, it's I'm at like 9.15 I think. So I'll probably hit a thousand subscribers within the next, week or week and a half should be pretty litty titty committee keep eyeing me every day we just making deep profits money long i'm going need some deep pockets hands to the ceiling when i'm in the building how you make a living hmm? lady never chilling mine is on a million things i gotta do ladies want me with them no time for chilling no time for you okay. i've been on a different type of time i never liked the rest a different type of grind i'm on south beach like tony montana feeling like yeah, the whole world yeah, is mine yeah. and i sit bad let your mind run no man knows when it's time going